first thing you want to do is when you come to your system is figure out where your sampling point is going to be. That's why it's a good idea to do some reconnaissance ahead of time. You've walked out there, you have some idea. For instance, when I walked up here to begin with, I was like, oh crud, I don't remember where I sampled this one. There's two possible options here. One of them is this really convenient looking black hose that's attached right here and kind of laying on the ground. That looks convenient. That's also gross. It's been laying on the ground. We don't know what's inside there. In order to flush that out to make sure that we've got a, a clean sample coming out, it's probably gonna take you more time. Garden hoses and hoses like this are convenient for you to take a sample from, but they're not a great idea. If you need to use a hose, bring a little section of hose that's your hose, your clean sampling hose that you store in a nice dry place and replace it when you come out here. Alternatively, find another sampling location like this one right here that doesn't have a hose attached. So when, exactly, you can see the splash pattern, it's coming at you. So the first thing we do when we come out here, we know where our sampling location is. We've got our sample bottle, we've got our Sharpie. We're gonna write down our information on our sample. There are five pieces of information that if they fit, are good ideas to put on your sample bottle. That's your sample identifier. That's the most important thing. What sample is this? A code or whatever name you've given it, that's your sample identifier. The date that you've taken it on, and who you are, your initials on there. Those three things. If there's room, also write the time you took the sample and what the ranch identifier is, block 32 or something like that. We recognize on small pieces of tape or if you don't have a lot of room, little bottles that they give you, you might not be able to fit all five pieces of information, but those first three, identify your date and who you are on the bottle. Okay, so I've in my invisible ink, I've written all this information on here, I've got my sampled bottle, I put my Sharpie away, then I'm ready to collect my sample. I'm gonna start off by gloving up. Again, gloving up does not mean I'm magically not going to contaminate my sample. It just means that I am mentally preparing myself to take a sample. Once my gloves are on, I'm not gonna be digging in the dirt and mucking around. Okay, I have gloved up, I'm holding my sample bottle. I'm gonna open this up and allow it to flush for a couple of minutes. Get TJ wet. In the interest of time, two to five minutes takes about 10 seconds. Two to five minutes have passed. I've allowed it to flush. I've turned off my water. Next thing I'm going to do is take my alcohol prep pads, my little swabs. As somebody else pointed out, if you have a bottle of ethanol that you're carrying around with you anyway, because you have to sterilize your sampling pole, you can spray ethanol in there and use clean paper towels, super clean paper towels, to then wipe out the ethanol. So we're gonna swab on the inside, get into the grooves in the nooks and crannies, and then we're gonna swab on the outside. It's super clean here, because tons of people have already sampled this. You'll notice that. I'm gonna put your little garbage away. Then you're going to open again for another 20 seconds or so. We're gonna flush out that alcohol that we just put in there, okay? If you've set your sample bottle down someplace, now would be a time to go ahead and pick it back up again. It's under your armpit. I usually turn it off again just to make sure I'm ready to go. Got my sample bottle picked up. I'm not standing in a puddle someplace. I've got my cap secured in my hand. When I've got a good grip with these three fingers right here, I'm gonna open up the water again and put my bottle inside it. I'm gonna get TJ real wet now. You might need to tip the bottle a little bit because a lot of air is going to come into it. See, I've got head space on that bottle. Still good grip on my cap. Secure it. This goes now into my cooler and you're done. 